The world of motorsport loses a great. Auto journalists get held up in Spain. And Bernie Ecclestone is getting sued. What else is new? I'm Jake, here with a Monday edition of Auto Week TV. Let's do the news. We begin with some sad news today. Phil Remington, fabricator, designer, and engineer, died on Friday at the age of 92. Remington's career spanned almost every generation of American motorsports, from dry lake beds to Lance Reventlow's Grand Prix programs to Carroll Shelby's GT40 Le Mans efforts. In the last half of his life, Remington worked with Dan Gurney's All-American Racers, designing, building, and fixing parts up until a month before he died. He will be missed. Also over the weekend, our own Bob Gritzinger was pinched by the Spanish police, along with 17 other U.S. motoring journalists who were road testing the Mercedes E63 AMG. Most of the drivers were without international licenses, and the Spanish 5.0 said that they could not continue their drive. They were eventually let go, and a Mercedes spokesman was quoted as saying, No fines or impound fees were paid, no charges were brought, and no bribes were given. Check out the rest of the story at AutoWeek.com. Now over to Formula One, where CEO Bernie Ecclestone said that he is not subject to U.S. laws in a formal affidavit he submitted to New York State Court. The document responds to a $650 million lawsuit filed against him by Blue Waters, an American private equity firm. Blue Waters claimed it offered $1 billion to buy a stake in the sport before Ecclestone had the stock undervalued and then sold it to CBC. We'll bring you more on this story as it develops. That's the news for Monday. Thanks for joining us. Be sure to check out our video section at AutoWeek.com and come back tomorrow for more news. Until then, enjoy the drive. Catch all the latest auto enthusiast news at AutoWeek.com, in AutoWeek magazine and iPad edition. Talk with us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter at AutoWeek USA.